Hey there, everybody! Welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. In the last episode, we made our way through Ruddy Road, found the Purple Rescue Squad leader, who has lost his recruits, and also had a big mishap with, well, the road itself. This time, though, we are going to start exploring Cherry Lake, which has a new mechanic for us to learn, as you can actually see spoilers on the screen. Whoa, look at that! You saw too, right? A toad just fell off that airship! He must have fallen somewhere in this lake. I hope he's okay. We should go look for him. You got it, Huey. But first of all, um... Well, the gate's locked by the looks of it. And there's no other way. There's something stuck to the other side. I don't think we can open it from here. We really need to get in there. If we can just get on top of those blocks, we should be able to drop down to the other side. Wait a minute. Yes! That's a clear line. Alright Mario, I'm going to teach you a mind-blowing technique. Watch closely. Um, what are you doing there, Huey? There, see this line on the gate? Looks like stairs, right? When you see clear lines like this in the world, you can use the cut-out technique. Go ahead and press one. Which takes us down to the gamepad by transcending dimension from the TV. Good thing I have screenshots for you guys. Basically, you will see this dotted line that you will be cutting out. Tracing very roughly along it. You can just be in the general area. And once you've done that, that whole area will just come off like one great big piece of paper. Allowing us to climb in that line he was showing us up to the flagpole. Effectively teleporting us. Now we can learn cut use cutout wherever we see dotted lines like that. In fact, there has been absolutely nowhere we have been able to use it before, so that's a good thing. Haven't missed anything. And some nice relaxing music comes in. Now, before I really talk about anything else, I would like to bring back attention to what I showed during the loading screen there. Now, in this game, there are some optional cutouts. As I was saying, in this game, there are some optional cutouts. Now, the game is going to keep track of cutouts, and it will count towards 100% in, in a way, I guess. So, I do recommend you find them all. Now, as for the required cutouts, there's no point in me showing you because, well, they're required. But I will be sure to sh pop it on screen whenever there is an optional one that we should look out for. What's your problem, bub? You don't want to stack up with us? Ooh, I bet you think you're so cool being a single shy guy. We're only rolling four deep. We need one more to be a five stack, yo. Enough talk. Stack em, boys. Cripes, he ran away. Hey, check out the ratty mustache on this one stack over here. Ha, it looks like your upper lip found a tanuki suit. Stack this clown! How come, why did I get a free attack? Come on. Anyway, you will need to block each of their attacks as they separate. But the four stack shy guy, we will see many enemies with multiple stacks. Don't use hammers. They only have four HP. But you need to do... You only do one HP at a time. The recommended tool for this solution 
is just a normal jump card. Any jump card will have at least five, so as long as you can time it, you're all good. I would have liked a perfect battle, but oh well. Easily dealt with. And woo, we get another upgrade. Also, you might have seen that hammer scrap looked a bit different. The more glitter paper or shiny metallic stuff that is on some of the... On some of the hammer scraps, the more points it will give you. Oh, right, um, yes, there is a hop slipper that we have to use. I know you're supposed to be the enemy and stuff, but... Thanks for scrapping those guys. I might be all soggy now, but I'd rather be soggy than be stacked with them. They say that one guy can't make a difference. That I should just be another cog in the machine. But I don't care what they think. I'm living my life as a single layer of Shy Guy awesomeness. You know, for a Shy Guy, you're alright, kid. Oh, scrap! A talking paint can? I must have hit my head harder than I thought. You better take this before I pass out. Oh my goodness, this is amazing! Max cards up, this lets us use. Oh, wait, hearing my sound. Whoa, whoa, what a gift! Your card slot's increased! You can now play an additional card during your turn in battle. In other words, you can play two cards per turn now. Amazing! Thanks, Shy Guy. Wait, ready, go! Hey, losers, come stack with us, it'll be fun! Not just fun, studies show that stacking groups of five can increase HP and lower cholesterol. Oh look, two Shy Guy 4 stacks right on cue. Let's experiment with that second card slot. Set two cards at once and unleash Mayhem Mario. Here we go guys. Two stacks, which means we're gonna have two jumps. Now I think I'll use that colorless hop slipper that we just got. And just a regular worn out jump should be fine. Now again, you don't even need to paint these ones, but hey, I just like seeing that colour. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There. Damn it. Okay. The hop slipper has fasted your joke. <laughs> Why? Oh, so close to a perfect. And you get more coins the harder the fight. Anyway, you don't need to use two cards, by the way. But the Hop Slipper is a perfect card to get bonus coins, and that's pretty much it. It's got the same damage output as a regular jump, so don't use it. But you see this right below us here? That is actually a cutout. This is what optional cutouts look like. They can be between one and three and they are in the shape of cards on an angle letting you see them easily this one for example has three jump cards that pop out on stage and voila there you go nice and easy nice jump cards and i believe they're always colored in but i could be wrong oh looks like we found that toad guys so let's see what he has to say and what? Oh no, we just... Okay, we didn't just pull the feet off a toad. They're just his shoes. I guess that fall really did a number on him. Okay, well let's keep going. And got another Koopa, but it looks like you're hanging out underneath the question mark block. Which means you won't fight me. Cool. And no, I think I want to go up first. Now, when these the water wheels are... Okay. You got the little... Okay, I made it. So, as I... Oh, I made this one too. Well, I'll show off that new card in the next battle. And what on earth is that in the tree? Well, um, let's find out. Seems like we got some... Pants. I don't... I don't want to touch these. Oh, well, you can hammer these water wheels to make them go faster. Please, please hurry. Please hurry. Please hurry. Come on. There we go. Don't forget to paint things like that. Always hit very well hidden. 
And whoa, you new. Oh, okay. It's a new enemy. I have to show it off. We have soggy guys. As far as I'm aware, they are absolutely no different from regular shy guys. So let's use our new card, the KO Hammer. Using this instead of Shockwave will slap the first enemy into the second one. Pretty darn good. Yep, that's basically it. There are no enemy cards for the soggy guys, I believe. So, great to know that. And... There's a toad clinging to that tree! Do you think that's the toad who fell off the airship? He looks like he could get blown away at any second. Let's go help him. Okay, and look out for the shy guys! Okay, oh, different colours too. This is actually a great place to go for enemy cards, but... Even though I keep mentioning enemy cards, do not worry about them until... Honestly, you finish the game, because seriously... There's a lot, and they have better chances to drop as you get through the game. Now, obviously, thanks to that sign, this is a clear hint that we should use cutout. Just trace along this mountain that I'm gonna call a volcano because not all volcanoes have craters on the top. And volcanoes are, are just way more interesting. And actually, no, no, that's definitely a mountain. I'm running over the top of it. It's probably just a big hill. And your running speed is so slow, but we made it. All the way over here with our magical teleporting act. At least that's what it will look like for you guys. And Ice Flower! Now I do need to show that one off, but it's the exact same as the Fire Flower we used in the last episode. So I'm in no rush. You'll see it at some point though, guys. Anyway, let's make this bridge so we never have to use that cutout again. And take a look at this thing. Wow! And I thought I was your biggest fan, Mario. Weird non-flat objects like this are called things. And just like when I turned flat, these things can be wrung out. So go ahead and press A to give it a good... squeeze. You got a fan! The blades inside rotate at high speed to create a nice breeze. Thing cards can be found all throughout the world and are very powerful cards. So they, they have various effects in battle, which I really need to look up because I still don't know what all of them do. But they also have required uses outside of battle. So hold, I recommend holding on to them, but thankfully there is a way to get them back after using them, which I'll go over in another episode. Mario, thanks for the save. Too bad you couldn't save my dignity. You're the toad who fell from the airship, right? I'm glad you're not hurt, but uh, you seem more naked than your average toad. My clothes fell off when I fell from the airship. I wanted to teach those paint-stealing villains a lesson, so I jumped on their ship. But that thing is faster than it looks. I was hanging on for dear life, and my grip finally gave out. But mark my words, I will deliver swift toad justice to those filthy paint pilferers. For I am the toad who casts light on the shadows of injustice. I am... Da -da -na -na. I, I don't know what that was. Justice Toad! Justice Toad? Uh, is this guy for real? How did he say that with a straight face? I assure you, there is no face straighter. I am the hero that Prison Island needs. But before I can save the world, I'll need to comply with public ind indecency laws. Do you think you could go find my clothes? Pretty please? Justice Toad, huh? Well, I guess we can't abandon you in your time of need. Besides, if you catch a cold, who's going to save the world? We're on the case! Yes, we are, Huey! So let's start... We actually have two directions to go. So let's go this way, and this sign reads, Inner Cherry Lake. And coming through here, I believe we have... No, okay, I'm mistaken. I don't want to go through here quite yet. I actually want to do something else entirely. 
I'm gonna end the episode off here, guys, as these levels can get quite long. And I'd rather keep the episodes short for you guys to enjoy it much more. So next time we will explore the other areas of Cherry Lake. And here's a tip. We're gonna find both mini paint stars in the next episode. So we might not get one today, but it's two for the price of one in the next one. So see you guys next time, everybody. This has been Spiraling Helix. Bye-bye.